Don't worry. It can't get worse than this. Why would you say that? It always can. Well, oh, a murder. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season two, episode 10 of Gravity Falls, Northwest Mansion Mystery. Some sort of mystery going on with their mansion. What are your thoughts before we jump into this episode? I'm really interested to see how finding out more about Pacifica's past impacts the way Mabel thinks about her. Yeah, I wonder if we're going to get backstory or if we're just going to get how bad things are right now. Well, but if you explore someone's house, you're going to like find stuff. Maybe, and I'm interested to see what that stuff is. And if you are, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for episodes of Gravity Falls coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms. All right, are we excited for Season 2, Episode 10 of Gravity Falls? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes! The guest list for this year's party has so much diversity. Yes, a nice mix of millionaires and billionaires. <laughs> Pacifica! What did I tell you about that dress? The theme is sea foam green. Azula's You're voice actress, literally matching. Also, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Mind your mother, Pacifica. But You're not wearing sea foam green. Yes, father. Oh my god. He rings a bell. Oh Terrible. no, the bell's for something else. No, that bell was to tell no. her what to do. Wow. Ah, uh, it's haunted. Maybe it's because of your bad parenting. Surely there's someone who can handle this sort of nonsense. Stan. And I think I know just the person. Dipper. Okay. Oh, and he's becoming interesting. He's, he's becoming well known because known. the society, the blind eye, is gone. Yeah. Now people can actually report on the crazy things that happen. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Oh, this is the express intro. Yeah. Interesting. An entire forty-eight-hour marathon of ghost harassers on the used to be about history channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting. Turn it up. Make room for Grendel. <laughs> <laughs> and even though common folk aren't let in, that won't stop us from camping out for a peek at the fanciness. Oh, God. The glazing is They're unreal. They're tailgating. Rich food, richer boys. They say each gift basket has a live quail inside. <laughs> in case you've already forgotten, Pacifica Northwest is the worst. I'd say that to her face. There she is. Hmm. You're, the, You're worst. the worst. He's still sticking up for his sister. I love it. You think it's easy for me to come here? I don't want to be seen in this hovel, but there's something haunting Northwest Manor. Rude. The party could be ruined. Just name your price, <clears throat> okay? I'll give you anything. Hi, Pacifica. <laughs> Excuse us. The price is to be friends with me. If you help Pacifica, you can get us invites to the it's a high price. party of all time. Uh. <sighs> Fine, I'll bust your ghost. But... In exchange, I'll need three tickets to the party. You're just lucky I'm desperate. He's only asking for three. Oh, okay. Desperate. Well, he's going to go to bust the Oh, he's the already ghost. going, yeah. Welcome to Northwest Manor, dorks. Wow, oh, Everything's <laughs> fancy, fancy man. Yes, very that... good, miss. The rumors were <laughs> Oh, it laid eggs in there. Hopefully you can help us with our little... Situation before the guests arrive in an hour. I'll do my best. Pacifica, take our guest to the problem room and uh he's not wearing that, is he? Oh hmm. my god. The problem room. Oh, it's like this collar is strangling me. Who do you guys think you're impressing with this stuff? Secret agent dipper. High standards are what make the Northwest family great. Funny, I thought it was and lying about And being fraudulent, himself. yeah. <laughs> guys, it's the guest list. Check out this party. Marius von Funzhauser. He's a baron from Funzhauser. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think this boy is out of our league. Grinda is right. He's a Whoa. Wow. Player. There are tons of cute boys coming. Let's swear our sisters choose not to waste time on Marius. Deal. 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 Also, the fancy she fits wants are Marius. fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. A bunch oh. of animal heads. I wonder why this house is haunted. Hmm. Fun fact, my childhood bully uh, had a room that 
this is not an exaggeration, was more so than this and had a giraffe more head heads. in it. It had a giraffe head in it. Terrible guy. With and a also terrible dad. Yeah, and oh, and also had like a pool. T oh, it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Hey, I bet it's haunted. It's been happening. Yeah, this looks like oh, they the had a pool table. This is literally an exact <laughs> replica. I wouldn't be worried though. Ghosts fall on a ten category scale. Floating plates sound like a category one. Kind of cute. <laughs> Just gotta splash this sucker with some anointed water. And He's really becoming a pro. Fake blonde hair. What yeah. What's that about my hair? Whoa. Did you hear Probably that? Probably fake blonde hair. All right. Dipper's kind of cool in this episode. Oh yeah. Thus far. Why does Paul Bunyan not have pupils? Come on, <laughs> stupid thing. There we go. Oh. Nope. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Ancient sins. Wow. Dipper, what is this? It's a category ten. Oh no. And there yeah, goes the water. water. Well, that water wasn't going to do anything. Holy water. Well, no, I mean, because it's a category 10 or whatever. The forest dark. Don't worry. It can't get worse than this. Why would you say that? It always can. Well, oh, a murder. Oh, okay. Or is this the guy from the... I bet Pacifica's dad did something awful. Oh, he doesn't like them. This sounds like oh, Kevin Michael Richards. I'm not sure up the if it floor. is. All right, here we go. Advice. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Cool design, though. Yeah, very cool. The fact that they're still just having the party. Yeah. And reclusive 102-year-old mayor of Gravity Falls, Mayor Befuffelfumter. Befuffelfumter. The vultures are included. Do you know who Nathan Fillion is, by the way? I could definitely let you know. Oh, I totally do. I totally do. Um, the... He was in the, the musical with yep. the Neil Patrick this Harris. This is exactly what I was going to reference. Yeah. <laughs> so it's him. Yeah. Oh, I loved that. Oh my god, it totally is. Chocolate. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, and the snootiest of laughter. Hey, listen to me carefully. You're caught in a sweet, savory loop. The sweet, savory loop is so real. Introducing Baron Marius von Bonshausen. The wind effects are on point. Guten Tag. <laughs> the glossy hair <laughs> highlight. <laughs> Guten What did she say exactly? Guten take me now. <laughs> Mabel, we had a truce. Oh my god. Goodness. Wow, she really kept her hand pretty well. Yeah. Two seconds. I don't know if I can follow this truth. He is too adorable. But what do we do? He's unattainable. What if we flirt with him as a team? With our cuteness <laughs> combined, one of us might have a chance. But what about Grenda? Her aggressive flirting style might scare them away. Hey, what's on your shirt? <laughs> ha! Loser! <laughs> Yikes. A peacock. <laughs> oh, I got the mud on what the shoes, the... so we'll know where they are. Yeah. Silver mirror. Right Wait, don't go in there. This room has my parents' favorite carpet pattern. They'll lose it if we track mud in there. Okay, take your shoes off. But find another way. Oh my God. So afraid of your parents. You wouldn't understand. Whoa. Okay. Place. Maybe more mirrors That's back weird. here. I don't even know where this room is. Ooh. Maybe we're safe. Hmm. I don't no, think so. I'm gonna go so no. There's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. And it's travel size. <laughs> Did you get him? <laughs> All right, caught him. We did it. Oh. Um, can I pay you to pretend that never happened? Well, Pacifica, you really My found goodness. the right man for the job. I gotta say, D this is probably the most confident episode we've seen from Dipper. Oh, there was totally. a time to potentially like introduce a little impress somebody. That's true. I think that this might have been his time. I mean, he was pretty efficient. He was, yeah, no, that he was, was like, breaking down barriers. He was like, well, that was some impressive ghost mud. busting. Yeah, you know. Love that the mom was like, <laughs> that's not sea foam. Wear purple instead. Yeah. And fuchsia. You're at the world's greatest 
world's best party dummy. I'd love to stay, but I've got a category 10 ghost to dispose of. Like, come on. Oh. Lost it immediately. <laughs> oh, but she thinks it's cute. I think. Okay. It's not that bad after all. Yeah. Don't say that to Mabel. Enemies to lovers. Well, they're friends. They kind of made up. Northwest used him. Northwest mm -hmm. asked us lumber folk to build them a mansion atop the hill. That once a year they would throw a grand party and uh, with everyone. Oh, uh, but then it was exclusive. But when it was time for the grand party, they promised the common folk of the town they refused to let us in. Oh, awful. With the trees gone, the mudslides began. Oh, so that's how he died. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yikes. And if the gates still close to town, wealthy blood will stay in the ground. Oh. Hmm. The Northwests knew this haunting was coming, and they tricked me into helping them to avoid ghostly justice? Wow. I'll be right back. <laughs> He's gonna release it again. Yeah. I've seen episode one of another anim of an anime called Castlevania, and it reminds me of a lot of this. Okay. I won't tell you what it is because we should watch it at some point because it'll devastate you. But perfect. Yeah. Northwest, you got some explaining to do. Dipper, you came back. <laughs> you lied to me. All of you did. Uh, she All didn't know, maybe. Was no, she, it, knew she, was, she was right there, there with the scroll the thing. I'm hosting a party for the most powerful people in the world. Do you yeah, looks like it. To rub elbows with your kind? Yeah, see ya. You're just as bad as your parents. Another in the <gasps> oh, and if she hates her parents, that's. Oh, that bell better be used to wow. destroy something. Please let me get my vengeance on the Northwests. You hate Yeah, why isn't he letting them go? Just, it's just my sister's in there and oh. a little unstable, man. He's still responsible. You, that is my soul. May these tired lumber eyes gaze upon the trees. Me. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Go nuts, man. <laughs> He's gonna raise all of his friends. Uh, is that we saw them fire? all their graves. Wait, what? Hold on. What exactly happened? Saw the trees. The mirror reflected something, maybe? Yeah. Oh, and he... Oh, no, no, no. He dropped it. Oh. Okay, so he just scared Dipper. No, he, he heated the... He heated the... The mirror. With... Yes, yes, yes. Somehow. With his eye? I don't know. Yeah. Not sure how that happened, but... Maybe you just wanted him to lift it high enough to... Oh, God. <laughs> Austria, not Australia. If you were a boat, do you know what kind you'd be? A dream boat. That's what kind. You're a tech dog. These, these are killer lions. Yikes. What exactly was all that? You were flirting with Marius without me. Your flirting style could come off as a bit intense. Yeah, and yours didn't. Oh. I thought you liked my style. We do, but these boys might not. Oh, then I guess they wouldn't like this either. You've got something on your shirt. <gasps> He's going to do a funny laugh. He's going to think it's funny. Oh. I think we can all say this party was a rousing success. I guess you could say it was a slam dunk, Preston. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Good one. To our family name. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. My revenge shall have its day. <laughs> oh. oh. Well. It, he can turn people into wood. Fitting end. But oh. Oh, and the bears come back to all the animals come oh back to my life. God. Kind of. Not it. Oh. It's a horrifying oh, I don't, existence. That's not perfect. <laughs> the panic room. <laughs> and the collars open. Hmm. Oh. No. One way to change your fates. A Northwest must open the party gates. Pacifica! Oh. There you are. The ghost is turning everyone to wood, and he just started rhyming for some reason. I need your help. You want to know why this room was locked up? This is what I found in here. A painted record of every horror oh, that awful. ever done. Oh, awful. Oh, okay. I lied to you just because I'm too scared to talk back to my stupid parents 
I am just another link in the world's worst chain. Pacifica, I I'm sorry about what I said earlier, but just because you're your parents' daughter doesn't mean you have to be like them. It's not too late. It's too late! Oh no! Ah! Oh. oh no! Oh boy. Got off screen. Oh no. Oh. Oh, that's exactly what happened in the imitation of uh that the the mimic did in the um crowd before it got frozen. It was like you'll end up looking like this. Like if you keep down this path, you'll end up looking like this. I see. I think you made oh. that exact pose. Come yeah, bad reputation. You dare disobey us? Yeah. Ooh. Kick that thing. Is this mail broken? Our family name is broken, and I'm gonna fix it. Yay. All right. <laughs> I love his little bit he does. Yeah, and it looks so warm and inviting now. Yeah. Once as hard as oak. Now grow soft like more of a birch or something. <laughs> <laughs> more of a birch or something. Okay. You are not like the other Northwests. I feel lumber justice. Oh. <laughs> and the party's gonna be ten times better. Well. Good lord, the riprap! They're everywhere. <laughs> McGucket. A newfound respect for him, so mm -hmm. maybe we can let him be free. Kinda. We are so sorry. It's okay. Maybe I do need to work on my flirting. Friends. Friends. Wait. <laughs> Don't go. There's something about you. I can't get you out of my head. You're so uh. bold and confident. <laughs> Might I give you my phone number? Oh. I don't have a phone! Write it on my face! Huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> we shouldn't have sold her short. I call bridesmaids! What? I call call bridesmaids! Cute. Right. Hey, guess what we're standing on? <gasps> Their favorite rug. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I'd better go find someone to clean this up. Woo! scuba to doo horn swaggle my goat knees! Whoa! <laughs> what's up, McGucket? Hey. Oh, he remembered some stuff, maybe. Dipper, I fixed the laptop. I've been doing calculations. All right. Something terrible is coming. The apocalypse. The oh, boy. Times. You know what, McGuckin? Whoa. How about we talk about this stuff tomorrow? It's a party. Let's have some fun for once, huh? But How soon does it start? Oh, this is bad. Oh. That seems more than a hunch. Oh, and... Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, boy. A moment alone at last. <laughs> you can drop the act, Trigger. Oh, they kept a watch. Okay. Where's my phone? I don't have it. Yes, you do. It was in your purse. Oh, so I'm just supposed to hold on to everything for you? I asked you when we were in the car. Not even gonna ask. <laughs> and that okay. is where we are left for episode 10 of season 2 wow. of Gravity Falls. Look into my eyes, Mabel! You really think I'm a bad guy? I think oh. it's gotta be somebody stuck in there or something. Uncle Stan? Trust you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is she going in? What are your thoughts before we jump into our discussion? I loved that arc for Pacifica. Oh, that was beautiful. Um, I'm hoping we just get more of that. The way that she treated people, maybe she isn't the most deserving of a redemption arc, mm -hmm. but like, it's sometimes nice to see a character choose good, even if like, they could comfortably keep being bad, you know? Well, and there's absolutely something to be said for like, someone who's awful because of awful parents and then once they like gain enough self-awareness and independence and critical thinking realize that your parents are awful and then change you know like like there's a difference between someone being bad and not worthy of a redemption arc and someone being bad because of a situation and then separating from that situation and then changing 
Yeah, I agree. We'll talk about yeah. this more yeah. in the discussion, but uh, thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you enjoyed that episode or are excited for more episodes coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. First, I'll say question one, Max F asks, did you notice that the posture Dipper has when he was turned into wood is the same stance that the shape shifter says will be the last form you ever take? Yes. Kenny did, did notice that. I did, notice I did that. not. Yeah, but great reference. Nice. Let's go to question two. BB Creative asks, this episode has always been my personal favorite episode. So what do we think about Pacifica this episode? We learn a lot about her and we get insight on her character. Also, what do you think about her interaction with Dipper? I remember watching this as it came out and was really surprised at how well they worked together. Do you think a friendship with Dipper would help Pacifica be more open in general? I think 100%. Yeah, I mean, that episode was fantastic. The detail between like her mom immediately criticizing her outfit and just being overly judgmental and then her dad ringing a bell like that is just like it's such a representation of seeing her as an object and a possession rather than a person because she's like a trained seal or a dog from his point of view and i think the fact that once she was away from them and in a situation where there was kind of like a lot of panic happening that her default persona worked so well with Dipper. I feel like that kind of shows that this like shitty persona we've seen is is like an act or a reaction and not her like base form. Yeah. And I think like that bell symbolism is like, well, actually, you know, this actually leads into my second question. Um, But I agree. I think before I'll say, I think Pacifica, like her arc, it, it's clear that she is a product of her surroundings in a big way. 100%. But uh, question two, Annabella asks, so the whole thing with Pacifica being essentially conditioned to obey her parents with the bell is super messed up. How do you think this dynamic has affected Pacifica's psyche as well as her personality in general? Oh my God, it's got to have impacted literally everything, especially because she's an only child. Yeah. The whole reputation thing makes a lot more sense now. Exactly. And especially since so much of that reputation was based on really awful stuff, the like maintaining of that facade was so important to the family. And so that was like when she did that, she was good. And when she didn't, she was bad. And so just kind of needing to like keep up that lie all of the time that that impacts you you know yeah um i think that absolutely impacted her and like it was almost like she was so focused on the reputation she didn't even have her head up to make friends or anything like she was no just exactly well she was looking at when you're conditioned to view life through the lens of like how can this person upgrade me or be beneficial to me you're gonna you know make friends with people at school who are like the most popular or like whose parents have a boat or like that kind of thing. And so then it makes sense that the like appearance and aesthetic of the group was so important to Pacifica, but it also basically guarantees that you're not gonna have a genuine human connection because you're not perceiving them as a person. Yeah, I totally agree. And like, I wonder if there's gonna be any lingering instances of that or if she's kind of turned her back now. Because she did mess up the floor, but she was like, I need to find somebody to clean this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, I wonder how quickly she's going to be able to uninstall that in her brain. Definitely. Well, and especially because the thing that, like, freaked me out was the, like, the continual ringing of the bell. And then, is this bell not working? Ugh. And then, like the like vocal imitation of what a bell like oh my god whoever Terrible. wrote this episode nailed it knew what they were doing yeah but i feel like there is definitely going to be backlash we'll see and so yeah uh we'll see how that maybe if she just threatens goes. to expose them for being frauds who knows maybe but, uh let's go to our final question Final question. Mark O'Leary asks, this episode popularized the Dip Pacifica ship. Do you ship it? Oh, totally. I, some, I ship it. Yeah, absolutely. I think because Dipper has so much experience with bringing Mabel back to reality 
in like obviously a very different sense because Mabel's a very like head in the clouds all over the place thinker kind of person and so Dipper's always the one who's like bringing her back and grounding yeah. her and saying, nope this is what's actually going on and there's quite a bit of overlap there for someone who has been basically programmed to think things that aren't real and do things that they don't actually want to do so theoretically there could be like just a general understanding yeah i i wonder if that ship's gonna continue moving forward uh seems like they were setting it up there that was definitely dipper's coolest episode oh so. totally yeah we'll see uh and what everybody else thinks of that but that's where we're left for episode 10 of season two of gravity falls and also the warning of the apocalypse yes. coming soon we'll see what that is uh but are we excited for episode 11 of gravity falls season two can't wait all right let's get it let's go